Hello Composers, Mike here, and in this video you will learn how to compose music faster by speeding up your workflow with a master sketch track. So check this out, this is my master sketch track, mockup track, or as I personally call it, story track or story folder. So let's start uh, by demonstrating the sound of it first, and then I will show you how to set it up and how you can use it to improve your workflow when composing music. So this is my story track. The Gato Smooth Strings, or perhaps... Rhythmic Strings, or perhaps... A cinematic piano or as, as you can see I'm using these sliders all of them layer together perhaps piano and soft strings perhaps piano and rhythmic strings perhaps all of them together Whatever you want, but essentially that is the essence of the master sketching track or story track. So let's go through how do I set this up. Layering for flexibility. So in order to get the best of this, I layer for uh, flexibility. So I have the main ingredients or elements of music layered up here. Rhythm, harmony and melody. So for the rhythm track, I'm actually using uh, staccato strings short extra short staccato strings here in uh, this case symphobia one but you can use whatever staccato strings you want like that for the harmony track i'm using uh legato ensemble strings which is in this case a flatus lush strings patch here i put only the deca microphone on and i also added sordino because without sordino you get these bright and beautiful sound but i want it more in the background so with the sordino it's like a silky background string and then for the melody i'm using keyscape uh, within uh, omnisphere and i'm using the custom C7 studio piano patch added some reverb on it now i mix all of those layers together so i i play on this track stack here in logic if your daw doesn't support playing several instruments at the same time you will have to uh, record enable everything so you can play it like that but in logic and i uh, think many daws you can actually play them as as a group like this so all of them are played automation to mix all layers now to automate this we have to go in and check the settings for this as well let's start with the first one uh, so for the rhythm here I actually you need to have an instrument where you can actually automate the uh, dynamics or expression to whatever CC value you want so I put it here on expression volume on uh, CC2 and then this fader here, the second fader on my MIDI keyboard is mapped to CC2. So if I uh, decrease this now, let's close that. If I decrease it to zero, there's nothing. And as I move it higher, it gets um, louder and louder. And that way I can mix in the rhythm into the story track. So I have no short strings or full depending on what uh, type of performance I want to sketch. Then for the harmony, the strings, here I'm using the classic uh, modulation wheel, or in this case, this is mapped CC1. So you just need to, as you can see on the screen, it moves here. You can also use the modulation wheel. I have this mapped to the same. Like so. So that is also automated. And then the final one is um, Keyscape. And if I open it up here, I have mapped 
as you can see here, I just go into modulation to map user CC to amplitude, which is, of course, level. And what is user CC? Well, I put user CC as MIDI CC3 and mapped it here to MIDI CC3 on this fader. Meaning that I can now control with CC1, 2, and 3 the amount of uh, strings here, soft strings, legato, the amount of rhythmic strings, and the amount of piano. Like that. Higher level than all mixing groups. So, in order for this to make even more sense, I feel that you need to have a higher level on uh, this story track compared to the other sections. So for the other groups, mixing groups, I have gain staging applied, meaning I put a gain plugin and then uh, I put that gain on minus 12 dB in this case. So everything here, every group is minus 12 dB applied, but not on the story track. And that means when I record a new performance, uh, as I listen to the entire, let's say I have an entire composition here and I want to record something, sometimes it can be very, very difficult to hear what you actually play. Well, problem solved, because if I play the performance here on this track instead, that will be 12 dB higher than the mixing groups or the tracks inside. And this is just for sketching and coming up with new parts. Then I simply drag it down to the actual track in question. Alright, so now let me give you some tips on how you can actually use your sketch, mock-up or story track when you compose music. So brainstorming, experimenting and sketching is my favorite way of using the story track or sketching track. I simply dial in with the faders here that I have automated what type of performance I want. So let's say it's very smooth, soft performance. So I have smooth, soft strings and some piano like this. So if you have an expression pedal, you can actually increase, for example, the strings here or a breath controller to increase something. Uh, so brainstorming and sketching ideas is a great way. If I want to record a rhythmic performance, I might want to have some short strings and a bit of piano. Or whatever. Uh, that is the first tip. Now recording mocha performances. For this, I just mean that uh, when I sketch some ideas, I can actually even record them, like this. Or whatever I come up with, and then I have something as a mock-up. I can save it as an idea by making that uh, into a track uh, alternative here in Logic. Or I can drag it down and try it out on various instruments in the arrangement. So another thing is to actually record performances when you have a track going. So you, co of course, you compose your real track inside your mixing groups with all the instruments you uh, have added in here. But let's say you want to record uh, a new cello line here. Well, if your entire composition is playing while re you record, which in most cases it, it will, it's great to have a track that is higher in level and already have all of these mappings prepared so you can record the part here and then drag it down, test it on the cellos, for example. Well, it didn't suit there. Well, test it on, for example, the solo cello in here and just drag it down uh, by recording the part for the, the arrangement up here first. And finally, my bonus tip is to actually record your main storyline of your music inside this uh, sketch or story folder. You can do this in two ways. First, you can actually go in and record the main rhythmic storyline, the chord progressions and harmonies, and your main melody here in the tracks inside the group here, inside the folder. Or you can record something here. For example, let's say you record the, the main storyline like this. Let's say that is your leading theme. Well, you can record it here and have it there. You can uh, even label this as a take and then record, let's say, a new take here and um, have, for example, the chords here and then record your chord progression on uh, an alternative take. So I can switch back and forth to the leading 
melody or theme here, and so on. And you can do this for all essential parts you want to add to your composition, essentially your main storyline of your music. Check out the video description for amazing bonuses and resources for composers like yourself. Then keep watching more videos on my YouTube channel.